Brown said, amen. And um, it was just Elder Brown told me one time I was preaching and I was speaking on some things and some things that I said, God revealed to me that it was uh, uh, two people that was in there doing that very same thing. I said, oh my God. And I was preaching that, but he told me this other ground. said, you know what? Everybody stick with this church. They got to show up, be saved. I said, yes. yes. <laughs> he said, Pastor like, why you preach the truth? And you preach yes. what is real and what is right. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 So we're going to get ready. Uh, Deacon Blackwood, can you take this stand over to that side and put it over there? So um, I think we ought to have some notes. And then all the sisters in Christ, you can get them. They go over on this side. And I am going to call your names and do you come up and do uh, what you're going to do. Amen. And we just thank God. We may have it in the middle. <laughs> Amen. And we just thank God for the sisters in Christ. Everybody yeah. coming. Amen. And all the sisters in Christ coming. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. So I hope y'all know what that means. Sisters hey, in Christ. Very fast. Come on, somebody. Very fast. Sisters yeah. in Christ. Yeah. When you is something, you are part of something. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes. Amen. You got to be a part of who he is. Yes. Amen. Somebody better say yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. I preached on last week about what are your distractions. Yes. What are distracting you from being a full 100% with God. Yes. Somebody better say amen. Yes. It's in the Bible yes. that Paul said, I don't mean to bring no restrictions on you. But let us also run this race, amen, without any distraction. Amen. amen. And serve the Lord without any distractions. Amen. 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 So um, I want Butter to come last. I know she's ready yeah. to go first, but yeah. she's going to come last. <laughs> amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So between y'all three, I'm going to see each one that y'all want to come first. Amen. So let me know what you're going to do. If you want to pray, you're going to read the scripture, or you got a testimony. Y'all let the Lord use these Amen. sisters. Amen. 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 Give them a hand praise. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. I have a testimony. Amen.
I had a new song, but that was my new song because I was sick and everything, so. I love you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. I worship and adore you. Yes. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Amen. 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 Now we got to have Buddy come 
Amen. 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 And just to do her thing for God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Back right there, put the second back. Yes, yeah, so you can feel Definitions of the seed 
and um, the Mark of God. Yes. So to see that, that um, and this came like out of the Greek version, um, prophet called to roam from safety, truth, or virtue, to go astray, error, seduce, wonder, yes. and, um, and to mock God is to, is to disrespect, yes. to dishonor, ignore, and think we can live apart from obeying his word. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is a very sinful thing so. committed to those who have, no, who have no fear of God or who deny his existence. But can you believe those who mock God also mock the people of God? Many times we as believers tend to look at the people outside of the church. But little do you know, the most crucial marker of God and David comes from the one sitting inside the church. You better uh, say so. The ones that are supposed to be the body of Christ. Yeah. The ones that are supposed to be the salt of the earth. Yes. The ones that are supposed to be the light of all the darkness in the world. Yes. The ones that are called to be ye holy because he is holy. Yes. yes. Some of us pretend to be spiritual and God on the outside, but there's no real change in heart. Yes. Uh, Matthew 15 and 8 says, these people honor me with their lips, but, but their heart is far from me. It's also in Isaiah 29 and 13. So I'm wondering, have you really been born again? Because you know our actions speak louder than words. Yeah. So we can say that we believe in God and I believe in Jesus and all this stuff, but what is your life saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to live it. You can't just talk about it. You got to live what you preach, you know what I'm saying? You got to live what you talk about. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like Pastor was saying, you know, you have people watching your life. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can make people stumble and fall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not living according to the word of God. Yeah. You, know, that you claim you profess it. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So, yes. Um, so some of us just going through the motions, mm -hmm. they're only counterfeit Christians. Yes. You know, All right, girl. All you right. know we're counterfeit Having a form of godliness, uh -huh. but denying the power thereof. From so such turn away. And those who have a form of godliness are those who make an outward display of their religion of belief. They speak of God and live in sin. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out how that's working out for you. Thank you. You know Come what I'm on. saying? Okay. Yeah. So we got 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Take your time. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, uh -huh. he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. Old things are passed That's away. Right. Behold, all things are I'm not new. new. Oh my God. So when you're a new creature in Christ, you already know what that means. Uh -huh. The old things that you used to do yeah. are going away. The yeah. desires and all that, even if, just say for a second, right? Even if you still might feel some way about some of desire or something like that, yes. you know what I'm saying? God has given us the Holy Spirit yes. to be able to resist. Exactly. Yes. To resist it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Not, not give in to the temptation. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. want you to do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But you have the power yes. to resist that. Yes. You know? If that's what you want, because we have choices and we have free will. Yes. Yes. You know? yes. So it's all based on what you want to do. Yes. If you want to feed your flesh, or do you want to feed your spirit? Yes. 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 So, so, so people of God, we're going to get to this right now. Uh, what are you sowing and reaping? Even better question, are you sowing to the flesh? Or are you sowing to the spirit? And I wanted to get, I told Brother Blackwell I was going to get him involved. Uh, I told him to be he ever ready. So Brother Blackwell, yeah, I just want you to give us a, this a little definition of sowing and reaping since you farm and all. Yeah. Just, you know, how that works out. I like that. You know. Well, uh, as far as farming and stuff, you got to give myself a prayer. As I prepare the land and stuff like that. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to be just like you do your kids. You have to nurture them, give them a little water and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You see it broken a little bit, you have to throw dirt to it. Uh -huh. So when it rains, it'll hold the moisture to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the fine time in this thing is time to pick it for the harvest. Mm -hmm. If you're cooking, after you cook it and it tastes how good, and you all the goodness of yeah. the work you have done. You know where it is. You don't know you didn't spray no chemicals on it, not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, but that makes it even better for your body. That's right. Thank you. 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 All right. So, uh, so we, got, we know that in this flesh dwelleth no good thing, as Paul stated. That's right. 
in Romans 7 and 18. So if you are considering, this just if you consider it, you uh -huh. know, this, this might not even be the case, <laughs> but if you're considering salt to the flesh, uh -huh. here are a few things I think you should know. The more that you sow to your flesh, the stronger that thing will become. Yes. The more you will want it, and the harder it will be to break free. All right. Uh -huh. So we got a Galatians 5, 19 and 21, and that's the um the works of the flesh. Yeah. So better want to read that for me, or y'all want to read that? And I'd like to read that. Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, verses 19. Okay, but I would just say 5 and 19 and 21. Uh -huh. Now that the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these, adultery, bonification, uncleanliness, lav lavishness, um, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, um, emulation, wrath, strife, sedation, what is it called? Seditions. Sedition. Hearsays. Hearsays. Mm -hmm. Embrying. Murder. Drunkenness. Um, revelation. No. Every murder, drunkenness, re re reveling. Yeah, reveling. Yeah, reveling. Yeah, reveling. Yeah, reveling. Yeah, reveling. Mm -hmm. reveling. The, which I tell you before, I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom God. of God. Mm. Thank you. Amen. Mm. Okay, now we got um, Galatians 1 and 5 says, Stand fast, therefore, the liberty for which Christ has made us free. Has he not entangled again with the yoke of bondage? So when God has set you free from something, just like Pastor was singing the song, I won't go back. You can't yeah. go back to the way things used to be. That's exactly what it's saying. You don't want to yes. go back. Yes. And what God has delivered you from. Amen. Uh -huh. Whatever that thing may be. You know what I'm saying? Because then it comes back with seven times strong or something. Yes, yes. that's right. Yes. Know, so, yes. But it's on you, you know. So I got James 1, 14 and 15 says, For every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lusts and entice. Then when lust have conceived, it bring forth sin. And when sin is finished, it bring forth death. But it don't really mean... Sometimes physical death, but spiritual death. Yes, yeah. yes. Come on, bud. And I want to give y'all a definition of lust, because a lot of times we get it misconstrued like it's just sexual desire, but that's not the case. Yes. So lust refers to any intense tempted. When lust refers to any intense desire which becomes excessive or misdirected, it may be concentrated on money, personal power, or sexual pleasure such as sexual experience and drunkenness, etc. Misdirected and excessive desires tend to throw human life into disharmony and chaos. Christians are therefore urged to control their desires in such a manner as to make their bodies instruments of righteousness yes. rather than prey of yes. the flesh. Yes. Okay. How y'all like the word so far? Amen. Y'all are standing. Come on. Yes. Any questions? No. No questions. Wonderful. All right. So, well, guess what? So, First Corinthians ten and thirteen says. There have no temptation taken you but such as common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that are able, but will make a way of an escape yes. that you may be able to bear it. So, church, I'm asking y'all today. So when you are tempted, God is even make a way of an escape. You better say uh -huh. something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The uh -huh. thing about it is, though, yeah. is you're going to take it. Yeah. If you're going to take it wherever it's escape, or you're just going to sit there and just give in. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. sometimes that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We, this flesh is, is, is nothing good in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? It's just corruption, yeah. you know? But you got to make that choice for yourself. You know, yeah. you got to have a made up mind. You yeah. know? Yeah. And it's hard at times, but hey. The Lord is good, you know, every step Amen. of the way. You know, you just got to call on. Yes, you know? yes. Okay, Matthew 26 and 41 said, Jesus told his disciples, watch and pray. Uh -huh. yes. That he had tonight into temptation. The spirit deal is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes. So yes. the disciples fell asleep and couldn't watch or pray because their flesh took over while Jesus was praying to the Father. Same uh -huh. thing that happened to us. Yeah. Let me tell y'all what happened to me uh, on Tuesday. I'm guilty. I, I'm guilty. Um, yeah, so I had to go and uh, Tuesday after work and got me some, uh, I had to give me some sunglasses, some, some eye drops or whatever. Yes. Anyway, went home and ate me some leftovers. 
All right, seven o'clock, talk on the phone for an hour, did everything that I wanted to so I said to myself, I said, okay, well, I'm gonna lay down for a few minutes and meditate, right, and pray, right? Mm -hmm. By the time it was eight o'clock, laid down, fell asleep, because the flesh, woke up, it was 12 o'clock, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying, the flesh, you know, so that's why you just gotta go ahead and do what you gotta do. You gonna pray, pray, you know. Yeah, and like I said, you just gotta pray through that thing. You know, God, yes. God will help you, you know. Yes. Okay, yes. so um, hold on, let's see now. Okay, let's see what I'm Okay, a lot of stuff going on here, okay. Yeah, All right, time, buddy, so the buddy. same thing happens to us when our flesh become, become weak. But that's what we need to rise up, shake ourselves, fight to overpower the flesh. Yes. And Luke and Pastor Preet, uh, Gave this script on last week. I, that's why I had to run out the um, run out the church. <laughs> so Luke um, nine sixty two. It says that Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. You yes. know what I'm saying? I mean, yes. that is self-explanatory. Yes. And I'm gonna read you a definition. A person and, and brother Rapper, you can uh, you know testify to me. A person plowing a field with a horse or a mule in Jesus' day had to keep his entire attention focused for in order to assure that the animal that was pulling the plow was plowing in a straight line. Yeah. The plowman had to make sure he didn't get distracted by turning around, looking back, or the animal would get off course and the third that it was plowing would be crooked. That's right. Jesus was saying that we are called if we call ourselves disciples. Do you hear me? I say if we call ourselves yeah, disciples, like, yeah. we must have the same ambition to move forward, yes. forward without looking back, without falling into our fleshly desires. Yes. Yes. Galatians 5 and 24 says, and they that are Christ have crucified uh -huh. the flesh with his affections <laughs> and lust. Oh, it's crucified. Right. God, Jesus done put it on the cross. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So sooner or later, now this one gets good, y'all. Sooner or later, as y'all listen, I see everybody tuned in. Yes. <laughs> Sooner or later, you will reap a harvest yeah. of consequences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're you yeah. going to reap what you sow. When you sow to the flesh, yeah. the flesh of things is what you're going to get. But, it, but the thing about it is, you don't know the consequences. Thank you. You can't pick and choose those. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, after, after, although God is loving and merciful, He's caring and compassionate, also yes. forgiving. You know, everybody will say, well, God is a loving God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he is. That's he right. definitely is, but guess what? Uh -huh. He also is a God of correction. Yeah. A God of chastisement, a God of anger, a God of wrath, and a God of judgment. I got all these scriptures. Come on, you man. Yeah. 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 Oh, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, people don't want to talk about this out of God. Yeah. What's the truth? You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. He got feelings. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, he is just like, like, like we, we. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know, it's just like, you know, and maybe I'm getting off track with one boy. It's just like a parent, you know, mothers, you know, who got kids. Like, yes. you know, y'all, y'all tell them don't do stuff because it's for their own good. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. This is the same right. with God with us. He's our father. You know, yeah. Yeah. he wants yeah. the best because he know, you know what I'm saying, where we headed to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's just got to, you just got to lean on them, you know yes. what I'm yes. So, yes. okay. Yes. Yes. All right, yes. so <laughs> Hebrews 12 and 6 says, For whom the love, Lord loves, he chases. Mm -hmm. And so does every son whom he receives. So yes. when he chases us, that means he loves us. You know, yes. just like, like I said, a parent corrected a child. You know, I just remember that I got, I got to share this. Pastor, I got to share this with y'all because it was terrible. But I know it was all on love, I hope. <laughs> all right, so, you know, when I was growing up, we was living in Chesterfield. I think I maybe was in middle school, maybe, I guess. I couldn't do that, I don't know. But anyway, my mom, she always used to say, y'all be in before I die. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? So that day, I guess I didn't want to be in before I die. Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> so therefore, you know what happened? I had to suffer the consequences. Did I know what the consequences was at the time? No, I did not. But I learned very quickly. Exactly. So when she got in the house, you know, she like, well, you need to uh, go ahead and go ahead and get butt naked. Because she had a switch waiting for her. My sister, now she, she was a smart one. She ran to the shower uh -huh. or whatever here, so she ain't get to it. But I learned, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being so bad, I fell on Saturday on Saturday. And it was terrible, but I learned, you know, that to do it again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And then, um, okay, so, okay, one more. Okay, so Ephesians 4 30 says, Breathe not the Holy Spirit of God. Right. Whereby you are sealed to the dead redemption. Like I said, 
I don't know if y'all know, but did y'all know the Holy Spirit is a person, the third person of the Trinity of God? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So he feels, you know what I'm saying, when we, when we don't do right. You know, he hurts. You know, he bonds and stuff like that. So we need to take that into consideration. So this is not a faith walk. I'm almost finished, y'all. This is not a faith walk, not a filler walk, you know what I'm saying, not just on Sundays. You know, uh -huh. but we have to walk this thing out every day of the week. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Not just on Sundays, not getting in here hooping and hollering, pretending, you yes. know what I'm saying, to see something that we not. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? For real, you know. But Mondays, we Sundays. Right. Yeah. Right. He didn't say it would be easy, but right. he did say he would never leave us nor forsake us. You know right. So I asked yourself today, are y'all fit for the kingdom? If Jesus came back today, would you be ready? My God. My or do you still got some plan to do? God. You may look back, y'all remember what happened with Lot's wife, right? Yes. Yes. Chapter 19. Yes. Y'all know exactly. Say it again. Yes, exactly. Why? Yes. Because she, she didn't say okay. exactly. You know what I'm saying? You might look back and that might be it. You might just stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? So keep moving forward, you know. Um, so Hebrews 10 and 31 said, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a fearful thing, you know. Okay. Now, so to the Spirit is so much rewarding. You can sow to the Spirit by reading your word, praying, right. going to church, fellowshiping with other believers. That's right. Having Bible study, going out telling people about Jesus, even on social media. Right. Helping those in need and even visiting those who are sick and loving your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. By doing this, we are displaying the fruits of the spirit, which is in Galatians 5 and 22, yes. which is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, temperance, or self control. Galatians 5 and 25 says, if we live in the spirit, let us just follow the spirit. You know what I'm yes. saying? Uh -huh. And then, all right, I'm almost finished, y'all. I ain't gonna keep y'all no longer. I ain't gonna be before you long. Okay, so. <laughs> Paul was saying, do not, you know, we get weary sometimes. We get tired sometimes of doing good. But he's saying, don't give up. Don't, you know, try not to get weary. Because when you do right and I ask God, he will, he, you will read good, you know what I'm saying, if you don't give up. Yes. Sometimes it gets hard. Not to grow weary and doing good on this journey. But as believers, God will help us. Yes. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yes. I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the hand of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? He will uphold you with his right hand. You know how right you. When you become discouraged or depressed mm -hmm. on this walk, remember you are working for the Lord. Yes. God sees all the good we do and is well pleased. Yes. Colossians 3 and 23 says, whatever you do, work in it with all your heart as working for the Lord. Yes. Not human masters. Matthew 5 16 says, in the same way, let your light that's right. Shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's when we say we are in Christ, you know, we got to let our light shine. You know what I'm saying? But people want to serve the God that you serve. You know what I'm saying? Okay, in conclusion, all right, I'm about to wrap up, y'all. Okay, so this, the bottom line is, well, in these earthly bodies, the flesh will lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. It will be an ongoing battle and struggle at 